Hi, Taylor. This is your reading friend, Amanda. I'm back to share another story with you. I hope that you're still doing well and having a good day. Today, I chose a story called Lost and Found, written by Anne Harth. Where's my blue skirt? Rosa said. I don't know, said Mom. I haven't seen it, said Dad. Did you take it, Carlos? She said as she poked me in the chest. I shook my head. Why would I take your blue skirt? My little brother Roberto giggled. He crawled behind the couch. Where are my brown gloves, Dad said. Rosa shrugged. Maybe they're in the car, Mom said. Do you have them, Carlos? Dad said as he stared at me. Why would I have your brown gloves, I said. My little brother Roberto giggled. He crawled behind the couch. Where's my brush, Mom said. I don't have it, Rosa said. I have no idea, Dad said. Did you borrow it, Carlos? Mom said as she frowned at me. I haven't brushed my hair all day, I said. My little brother Roberto giggled. He crawled behind the couch. I was going to be late for school. Where's my lunchbox, I said. Who knows, said Rosa. Did you bring it home, said Mom. It has to be somewhere, Dad said. My little brother Roberto giggled. He crawled behind the couch. This time, I followed him. Roberto giggled when he saw me on the floor. I peeked under the couch. I pulled out a blue skirt and a pair of gloves. I pulled out a hairbrush and my lunchbox. There was one more thing under the couch. Hey, where's my belt? Dad called. I held it up. I found it, I said. Taylor, do you remember who took the skirt and gloves and hairbrush and lunchbox? It was the little brother Roberto, right? And what was dad looking for? His brown gloves and his belt, right? Why was little brother Roberto laughing? Was it because he knew where all these things were hiding? And do you remember what time of day it is in the story? It was in the morning, right? Before going to school. Well, that's the end of this story, Taylor. I hope you have a great day and I'll be back to read another story for you soon. Bye-bye.